I made some people mad, and now I went flying. What a throw, dude. That was like a 360 throw. Well, here's a weapon I haven't used for a while. Oh, no. Wow, that pyro sent me to another planet. I'm actually on Mars right now. Get over here, scout. I'm the only scout in the Wild West. What are you doing? So yeah, the shortstop is a really interesting weapon. And it's probably one of my favorite scout weapons in terms of just uniqueness. Not saying it's like the best thing ever. Obviously, is it like my most preferred scout primary? No, not really, but I do like the extra accuracy that it brings. And just from a visual standpoint, I like it a lot. Just imagine like a pistol is like a shotgun. So what's interesting about the shortstop? Well, compared to the scatter gun, it has 60% fewer pellets per shot. However, I think each pellet does twice as much damage and it has 40% less spread and we just lost. So basically, I think the idea of the shortstop is to reward scouts for being accurate. However, I mean, at least according to the TF2 wiki page, it still has like an overall like 20% lower base damage per shot. So is it good? I certainly think it's usable. Like it's not gonna be the sun on a stick. But it's like, look, I'm still getting like 40 damage from that kind of distance, you know? What is the sniper doing? Wow, we're just getting rolled, dude. Oh, hello. This dude, all right, you are playing in Antarctica. Yeah, I think the shortstop really rewards scouts for being accurate, but at the same time, it's just kind of like, why not just use the scatter gun? Okay, we can't hold anything, dude, at all. I also really like this inspect animation. But yeah, of course you have the shove. Oh my goodness, there's like three of us here. But yeah, the nice thing about the shortstop that I like is that it seems to be more accurate in longer ranges, which makes sense because of the reduced pellet spread. So you don't have to be right up next to someone. There we go. Although at the same time, whenever I use the short stop, I'm just kind of like, why don't I just use a scatter gun? Some people have complained about the reload speed of the short stop. However, I don't find that it bothers me too much because it reloads the entire thing at once. I mean, do I enjoy the short stop? Sure, I do. I like it at longer ranges, like I've said before. Let's just say I don't think you'd see this thing being used in competitive play. If it is, I'd be surprised. Look at the spread between the pellets there. This thing can go a decent distance. I mean, you're not gonna do like amazing damage, but it's certainly more viable than the scatter gun, in my opinion, at long ranges. Oh, geez. Get, get out of here. Oh, hello. All right. Yep. Don't know what I was expecting to happen there. And also an interesting thing about the shortstop is that no matter what, one pellet will always be down specifically where your crosshair is. So if I'm standing all the way back here, do that, just walk forward. That's where that pellet went. That's always guaranteed to happen and the others spread out. Okay. They just have a million medics. All right, boys, we're in the crap now. See, the thing about the shortstop is that you got to be really good with your aim because, look, I'm just whipping all of those shots, whereas with a traditional scatter gun, they probably would have hit. And it's also because I'm garbage. Yay. Also, just a reminder, if you guys are enjoying the video, to make sure to give it a like. And also consider subscribing to the channel. About 80% of you that watch, holy crits, aren't subscribed. So consider doing that. Thanks. Also, with the holy crits line, I felt like I was in one of those old Batman movies. Holy shark repellent, Batman. You guys have ever seen those. Just, you, you know. Okay, they are coming up here i'm trying to hold them off man i need some support up here <laughs> jeez man so would i use the shortstop over the regular scatter gun to be honest with you guys i probably would never do it um all right i thought i got that health what kind of username is that i just think this regular scatter gun's better in practically every situation i think it also depends on how you play scout i just find the scatter gun to be way more viable i take the force of nature over the shortstop Honestly, probably take the backscatter too, but that's because I'm weird and I like those mini crits. I just like the backscatter in general, even though I shouldn't. But see, like, look at that. Like, you have to be so on point with your aim when you're up close with the shortstop. Whereas with the regular scatter gun, due to the spread, you could get lucky. But when you do hit, you can hit from a further distance. And it's like up close damage isn't that bad. I mean, what, like, what are you using this weapon for? The shove? Uh oh. I made some people mad. And now I went flying. What a throw, dude. That was like a 360 throw. One of these NFL teams needs to call me already for my virtual arm. But yeah, see, like, look at that. Like, that was pretty decent damage for that distance, you know? Oh, and a crit. That's always lovely. Get out of here. I need some health. 
Oh man, I shouldn't have gone back. So do I hate the shortstop? No, not at all. I mean, it's a it's a fun kind of one-off weapon to use. Come on, come on. Nope, ain't doing that. I would, I see. I just, I just, I think the regular scatter gun is still just better in like 99.9% .9 of situations. So yeah, what's your guys' opinion on the shortstop? I can't wait to see how many times I've gotten shortstop and scatter gun mixed up in this video when I'm trying to talk. It's a slightly more accurate scatter gun, but you get two less rounds for it, but your pellets do twice as much damage. Get out of here. I must defend the point. And we lost. And I went 13 and six with the shortstop. It can't be that bad, right? Cause I'm garbage. I would say I like the shortstop in a lukewarm way. I'm not overly jazzed about it, but I don't hate it either. Like if he told me I had to use it, I'd be like, well, there could be worse things to use. Am I right? Baby faces blaster. Yeah, like I did 25 damage from that distance. Yeah, take that, Pyro. I know he's just waiting around the corner. There we go. Get, oh man, I was gonna shove the heavy off. Oh, hello, hello, what am I doing up here? <laughs> what was that? Get over here, get over here, yes. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit, dude. I'm gonna use the regular scatter gun for a couple of lives as we're about to just get steamrolled. Just to kind of see how it feels compared to the shortstop. Yeah, so like, see, at a distance like this, I'm not able to get nearly as much damage off. Get over here. Yes. Oh, hello. No, get away. But yeah, I do just enjoy using the scatter gun more as I have one health. See, but it's just less reliable at these longer ranges. Whereas with the shortstop, I mean, you would have been... Don't get me wrong, you're not doing, like, a ton of more damage. I'm not going to say, like, oh, that's the way you should play scout. You know, that is the one benefit to the shortstop. Because, I mean, hey, that, that 10 damage can make a difference in a fight, you know? Oh, my goodness. There's just so much pressure, dude. Red team, they're just pushing us in right now. Oh, and I got a crit. TF2 likes me today, man. Oh, they have a teleporter. We need to take care of that. Take care of the teleporter. That's their one line of being able to get here so quick, man. Everyone's focusing on the enemies. I say we just get the teleporter down quickly. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that was there. I don't think the shortstop is bad by any means. Get out of here. We ain't doing this nonsense. Like, see, you have to be so accurate, so pinpoint with your aiming using this thing. I mean, if you are just barely off, like all of your pellets are probably missing. Now, granted, I am playing on a uh, server where bullet spread exists. Red team just has so much pressure on us right now. But I think the more that you use the shortstop, the more you know how to play to its strengths. That was nice. See, it's kind of nice in situations like that. You don't have to get so close to the heavy to get reliable damage off. Get out of here. I just like the, like, from a purely, like, design standpoint, meaning the look of the weapon itself... I like the look of it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, that's right, Medic. You better run. Okay, now I better run. Oh, they have crits. <laughs> I came close to my record for damage, at least. But yeah, I mean, I'm going 26 and 10 with it. Like, is it viable? Yeah. I mean, well, I guess it depends on your definition of viable. Would I take this into, like, competitive? No, I wouldn't. I'd just use a regular scatter gun. But then again, I'm also weird in, like, the back scatter, so... Also, I'm going to try to get that Q&A video out tomorrow. I've gotten quite a few questions on there, which is always nice. Um, I do want to answer them all. So it might take me a little bit longer to edit, but hey, I will try my best. But yeah, I also just wanted to take this time to say thank you guys for all the support that you've shown the channel and stuff. It's been truly amazing, especially the comments. I get so many positive comments saying like, you know, hey, really enjoy your content. I just want you guys to know those always make my day. See, like, look at that, dude. Like, oh, man, I barely got any damage off there. Uh-oh, that's an issue. Oh, man, we're barely holding on. I have no idea how we survived that as a team. All right, so here we go again. See, like, look at this. I'm getting pretty decent damage off. Oh, come on. I was literally just going to jump down. That soldier's definitely not looking at me. Oh, well, I blocked a rocket for this. Oh, well, the sentry's dead. My All my efforts were in vain. But yeah, I mean, the more I use this gun, the more I think it's okay. And I just joined a game that ended. Why, Valve? Why does your matchmaking system do this to me? I'll never understand it, dude. I literally just joined. You want to know how I just joined? Let's see. Let's find my freaking name, dude. 
Yeah, I just joined. I just was automatically assigned to a team. Oh, boy. He didn't even swing. Oh, hey, I wonder if that's a spy or not, guys. That is so dumb. I gotta say, like, they gotta remove that. Like, because in my spy video that I did, I was questioning, like, how these people knew where I was, and I completely forgot about the fact, because I, I play spy so little these days, that your outline is still there. And that is about, like, the dumbest feature ever, man. They gotta figure that out. I mean, I'd just say, you know, if you're disguised as the enemy team, don't show the outline when the players spawn. You know, I mean, sure, you could still, like, see, oh, this guy isn't highlighted, but, I mean, like, what else are we gonna do? Looks like we have the 501st in here. Jeez, dude, there's one, two, three, four, five of them. All right. I don't know how I... I was gonna say I don't know how I managed to backpedal all the way through there, but no, I had to get killed by a, a Kritzkrieg, and now I got auto-balanced. You will receive 500 experience points. I swear that's a lie. I never see that actually happen. That medic has 119 points. And that demo has 117. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do all that cool, fun stuff. Share the video around. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.